Okay, here we are back uh, with our shoe. We're going to go ahead and continue to work on this and hopefully finish it up uh, here. We're going to divide it into a couple more videos because it is uh, quite detailed. Uh, but this one, what we're going to do is go ahead and get our design in. And then the next video, we'll add materials to it and then we'll uh, give it... Uh, um, uh, closure, uh, not not just seal it up, but uh, make a you know uh, offsets and stuff like that. And then uh, the last part, we'll just do the uh, texture on the bottom of the the sh sole I, or shoe, I guess. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so let, let's go ahead and get going on this. Uh, uh, we'll go to our top view. Start with. And we're, we're going to kind of make a little uh, tongue thing, right? Uh, so let's go to our shaded view. And uh, we're going to turn off our snaps and everything. Uh, and we're going to go to, uh, let's see, the freeform curve. Uh, and we'll change that to a yellow. And what we want to do is we want to start inside uh, the shoe here, right? The opening. Uh, and actually, we can probably turn off that... Uh, uh, bottom layer there we don't really need it right now and won't need it for a while so we'll just turn that off uh, and then I'm going to uh, just kind of hold down and uh, kind of go out here and draw my uh, uh, whatever it's called <laughs> uh, tongue I guess uh, and then kind of just go around and kind of match these up here and actually i've got this uh, but what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and grab this because i i, I should have added uh, insert uh, insert uh, point i'm going to insert a point to my line here uh oh wait insert control point uh and oh, okay well there we go. It's, it kind of added me one where I wanted it, which is right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that, hit enter. So now if I turn on control points, I get something like this. And the reason I, I wanted these two control points, because I want to make a little uh, kind of bump out right here. Actually, let's do this. Let's grab both those and do a, a bump out and maybe drag it in a little all right and then i'll take these two points and kind of drag them in a little bit something like that all right uh yeah and then we'll take this one here kind of make it a little bit more yui shapey <laughs> yui shapey <laughs> and uh, let's grab this one here and kind of uh, do that grab this one kind of get it now you can spend a lot of time uh in in doing all this uh but we're, we're just going to kind of uh, go through it but this looks okay i guess uh so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my transform uh and then go to uh, center and then hit enter so now i know it's same on both sides and i'm just going to drag it back out to where i want it somewhere around here like this here so this will be the the tongue part and actually Actually, what I'll do is make this the outside of the tongue part. So let's make this a little bit bigger here. I'm going to make it a little larger. And then uh, we'll just keep it like that for right now. I'm going to go ahead and draw one more. Because uh, I want this this little part here uh, something different. Uh, so let's uh, another freeform curve. And let's go back. And this will be our tonguey part. And uh, something like this. And then one, two. And then kind of keeping those fairly close together. Something like that. Okay. Uh, and then let's go ahead and rebuild this one. Uh, to get it into something, uh, let's take it down a couple. No, no, no. no. Definitely want that to you on the back side there. We'll just go ahead and take it to 10 points. I think it was what it was. Uh, so we'll just take this, take this one, and well, tell you what, we'll just take these two, kind of drag them out a little bit. 
uh take these two those look okay those look okay okay and let's take this one it kind of looks like it's bowing out a little bit more than this side and then let's take both those kind of drag them hold down shift and well let's go back and let's drag it with our arrow that would probably be a good idea uh and then i'm going to take this one and just kind of something like that okay so that should be okay so we'll just go ahead and project both these at the same time as well uh so let's uh go ahead and i'll just right click down in here again go to uh project uh this curve and this curve and hit enter and pick our surface and then hit enter okay uh, and then the, the middle one's fine there. Uh, this one here, I want to do a little bit more manipulation. So let's go ahead, see about, oh, okay. Let's abort that. Let's set this one and then hit enter. Okay, well, that's way too many control points. All right. All right, well, we'll do this one a different way. How's that? We'll take this one and we'll just hide it for right now just in case it doesn't work. But let's go ahead and do this split. So let's take that, uh, click uh, split with this curve here, hit enter, uh, just it's okay. Uh, and then we'll take this surface and change it to a different color. Okay, so that'll be kind of like our tongue or whatever in the center there. And then what we'll do is we'll go to our side view. We'll go to the side view here. And we want to draw an inter curve. And we want this one kind of, well, we'll just draw it. I want an inter curve, not a freeform curve, rather. This down here, let's click uh, something like here just so we can have those control points. Something like that there. Let's turn on these control points. And let me see through my shoe. And first we'll go ahead and take this one, get rid of that one. Let's take this one, get rid of that one. Let's take this one and drag him down a little, something like that. And take this one and kind of bring him up a little. So it kind of goes down a little bit there. Okay, so let's take this and uh, let's do a right click, project this curve, uh, enter this surface, enter. Okay, so now let's take a look at it. And it drew it on both sides, which is fine, which is what we want. Uh, and then now let's take uh, this surface and we will split with this curve and hit enter. Okay, and then we'll take this surface and change it to a different. Oh, we wanted to delete it. Oh, that's because our bottom's on there. Let's put this on a different surface here. Okay, so we have this and let's just go ahead and turn that one back off. Wrong one. Uh, this one we'll put on this surface then. This one we'll put on this surface. And I think there's our bottom. Okay, yeah. All right, so our bottom's still hidden there. Okay, so we got this. And this will be where our holes for our shoestring uh, go in. Uh, and then now we want to do the, the tip of our shoe, you know, right in here. So we'll just do another uh, arc, uh, not polygon, uh, freeform curve. We'll go to our top view this time. And we'll just kind of uh, drag it in something like this. And that looks okay. And then we'll just do another project uh this curve enter this surface enter and let's take a look yeah there we go okay so that'll be the kind of the front of our shoe and let's take this surface and split it with this curve and hit enter and let's take that and we'll put it on a, another color 
uh, let's put it on red. All right. So we got this and these, and then we can go through and find out where we want all the colors to be and assign colors so for, for materials. Uh, the back side, what we want to do is we will, you know, usually there's like a little piece right here. So what we're going to do is go back uh, and kind of just draw out a piece, something like this. Let's turn on our points and we can do some editing if you want. No, that's fine. I'm not like I said, you know, you can get uh, more picky with it, uh, which you can. You can get really picky with this kind of stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, project that again. So right click uh, and uh, project uh, this curve, enter this surface, enter. Uh, and uh, let's make sure it flowed okay. Okay. Uh, and then let's just take uh, this surface and we will split it with. Oh, Okay, let's cancel that. Back out of that real quick, just so I know where we're at. Oh, it looks like it projected two curves on there. And which one do I want? Definitely not this one. So let's undo, undo, and let's just take this one here. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, let's go and uh, do a project uh, this curve enter the surface enter and enter so we're now we completed that command except it's giving it back to me uh yeah there we go and let's take that surface and split with this curve here and hit enter and we'll take that surface and change it to a different color for right now later what we'll do is we'll go ahead and okay we want this color this color and this middle one to be in, in or whatever uh same material you know or same color or whatever so we can get it last thing we need to do is maybe put a, a design here on the side somehow so you can do all kinds so you can do a nike star or a converse star you can do a nike or you know but we're not going to do that in this video because i don't want to get in trouble <laughs> uh we're going to uh i don't know put some kind of a funny design on here uh so let's go to our right side here and let's see uh, we'll go back to that inter curve again or uh, freeform curve and we'll do a little uh, something like this so it kind of goes up and we'll do a little something like uh, this and we'll do a little something where it comes down maybe Uh, into there maybe and we'll do a little another one coming out kind of following that curve a little bit something like that crazy side design there perhaps uh, and you can sit there again and play around on that for a couple hours if you want uh, get it exactly where you want it and you can play around with it no exaggeration uh, but we'll just go ahead and take something like that hit enter and again we'll take uh, those two curves this curve this curve and we will come down here and hit project and we will pick our surface and hit enter okay uh, and that should have placed it on uh, both sides which it looks like it did. Yeah. Okay, so we'll take this surface and we will split with all those curves. So we'll come in here, uh, pick all our curves on both sides. something like that and we got all those here and we'll hit enter okay and then we'll take this surface and this surface and we will go ahead and join those together oh that's where my seam is i bet so now i know where my seam was i should have checked that uh 
we want to back out of that we want to take this surface and this surface and join them not split them objects to split abort objects to join this one this one enter okay so this should be one yeah okay and then we'll go over here to this surface and that yeah my seam is right there so, so my seam must be right there uh so we'll go ahead and take this surface and that surface and we'll change those to another color so uh here we've kind of got our our shoe uh all broken into our design right or our, the shape of what we're going to do this will be our uh heel and if you look at a tennis shoe it's kind of got these parts to it so uh that's all for this video uh you know just splicing it up giving it the design but you can lay any kind of design out there if you just wanted the you know sometimes the shoe only has the different color right here and all this is the same color uh you you could do something like that uh, you could draw out any kind of design you want on it uh and if uh, it was a you closed it off and made it a piece of jewelry you know you could put diamonds all in there or uh whatever design you wanted for the shoe uh so we're going to go ahead and make this as close to an actual shoe shoe as possible uh and then uh uh kind of give it render so next video here what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, we'll either do the extracting uh, and offset all the curves and get all them ready for uh, or we'll add material on them uh, so let me think about that one and we'll get back uh, and get finishing up this so thanks for watching